Hi, my name is Sean from Arani. Today I'll be showing our slim panel, which is a solution for most pot lighting applications, especially when the depth of the ceiling is very low and we don't have enough height to install traditional pot lighting solutions. In the box, we receive an installation instruction sheet. We also receive the slim panel itself. Our slim panel is made of aluminum, which makes them more rugged and durable. There are some plastic solutions on the market. The problem with the plastics is with time, after six months, a year, they yellow. They don't maintain their white color. Also, if they're installed somewhere where they are exposed to cleaning material, they may lose their paint. We also receive a junction box, which houses a driver for the, connection of, uh, for the electrical connection of the product. The slim panel is offered in a white finish. We also have them in a brushed nickel. They both are available also in a 3000K color of the light itself, which is more yellow, or 4000K, which is more white. They are both offered in that. Now I'll be showing you the uh, installation of the product. This installation must be done by a qualified electrician. We are going to assume this is our ceiling and this would be our power cable. This power cable would normally be a BX cable or some other suitable cable for this situation. It may not look like this. Our first step would be to punch a hole, which is four and a half inches in diameter. Then we will use the junction box, which is provided in the box of the product. Inside the junction box, we have three quick connects. The connection will be done through either a knockout on this side or this knockout on this side. We would be knocking, knocking them out and installing a nipple to pass the wires. However, for the purpose of this video, I will make the installation through here so it is more clear. We would be connecting the black wires to each other using these quick connects. All we have to do is just take the black and push it in and the other one and push it in. And then that would be our black wires connection. Then we would use another quick connect for the whites and another quick connect to make a connection between the green and the yellow ground wires. It's important to make sure that we never, under no circumstances, connect a black and a white wire to each other because we would be creating a short circuit situation. Now, once the wires are connected and the connection would be here in the box, the connection is coming through the knockout, we would close this. And this wire going through here, we would then pass our wire and our junction box through this hole to go through, making sure that this stands out for the connection. So this would be sitting here somewhere on the ceiling, either this way or on this other way. And we would have our low voltage wire hanging out right here. The next step would be to use the slim panel and connect the male and female connectors together and screw them on to make sure they stay in place. And then we pass the wire. We fold the springs up to go through the hole. We press them through the hole and our connection is made. 